Hello all, Sabello here. Today we're going to be talking about plunder pirates and farming tips especially. Now most of this may seem pretty simple and self-explanatory, but a lot of players do go awry and they kind of get fed up with the game because they're struggling to to get loot. And loot's a big problem if, um, if you haven't thought about these processes. Not everyone thinks the same way, so let's go through it. Now a lot of people do. I don't know if you care about your your pirate rank, and I would say unless unless you're on a PR push, unless you're a high level sort of top end game, uh, then just farm. That's all you need to do. And if you want a bit of competitive scene, then do some rumbles or have a week of just pushing PR. But other than that, stick to farming loot. Now let's jump onto them. I've done enough. Rambling and rumbling. I've done more than enough rumbling. <laughs> and a lot of rambling. Okay, so use Sadie the Goat if you've got a user. You don't have to use any other troops. You can just snipe a couple of storages. It may take some practice getting used to where and how to deploy her just to do that job. But you've got three minutes. You've got three minutes to Sadie the Goat to work her magic. And that means you've got no uh, troop t uh, training time because she's a legendary pirate. If she doesn't die, you've got 20 uses with her. Then you put on rest for 24 hours. If she dies, the minimum you're going to get is 10 attacks with her. Now, if she's sniping 200k of each, roughly, she can probably get more. Then you're going to earn at least 2 to 4 million, depending again on stamina. Use Matt McCracken, you're not going to earn as much. You definitely have to be at a lower PR uh, level. But there's bases out there, you saw it on my my mini account, if you watched that one. If you didn't, just fast forward towards the right near the end of uh, the video, the last five minutes I'd say. And it's a Pirate Hall 4, which is my Visa Pirate Hall 7. There is the exposed collectors and storages out there that's brimming and waiting for you to go and collect it. That being said you can also use all thieves. You see me do live streams where I'm using just all thieves or most uh, mostly thieves and say 10 gunners or maybe even 5 gunners depending on your troop capacity just to make sure that you don't come up against a mech mech kraken when you're using all thieves. Brutes and gunners are really cheap and low training cost army just brutes and gunners, so you can go dependent again on troop capacity. Six brutes around there. If you want eight brutes, don't forget to take up four slots apiece, though. And gunners, you don't want to deploy them too quick and have the mortar take them out if you're not going to use a witch doctor. Same with bucks and gunners, you can use a, um, a witch doctor, Dr. Bugu. But if you can find, and I'll go on to it a little bit later. Um, the right type of bases, then you can use bucks and gunners. Street to get chests. So if you're down, and again, there's, there's some other points lowered down. Sub 100, if you go down there, drop to PR1, yes, it's a big drop. But you can sit there and snipe pirate halls. And what happens when you get a bunch of chests? It only takes about an hour, hour and a half. Depends how quick you find in these pirate halls. You could do it probably in an hour. Even if not, an hour and a half you can get a 30 streak, easy. And the 5 streak is gold chest. The 10 streak is the is the grog chest. You're going to get some EP and BP in there uh, from chest number 30, is it 11 and 13 I think. Could be wrong, somewhere around there. So do streaking as well, you can get resources from that. Plus you'll be, um, no doubt, getting some loot, you'll find some odd storages and collectors out and get, get some loot there, that's how I was getting millions as well. Um, gunners on exposed collectors and storages, very similar to streaking, but instead of going for the pirate, all you actually drop in PR by just sniping those storages. Again, that moves on to the next point, sub 100 PR. That's practically why that's in the middle, because everything centers around you being in a decent PR position. I mean, you could probably do this at 400 PR, but you'd find um, it harder to find these type of bases. Don't rearm traps. 
Stay broke, the FT method. FT is one of my members. <laughs> That's exactly what he says. Fat Trucker, I don't rearm my traps, he says, because it costs too much. I'm doing it multiple times a day. And he's done the maths. It's millions and millions of gold which is piling into rearming traps. And if he's got no loot, people don't want to attack him. So it's stay broke. Whenever, and I've done it yesterday on live stream, um, whenever you've got resources, Okay, if you're max walls and you can't dump your gold, it's it's too bad. But make sure you dump your grog at least. The best that you can. Okay, stay online. This <laughs> it sounds really stupid, right? But say say for instance you go you go on at school or or work at lunchtime. You do an attack or two. Probably an attack, let's say one attack. So you might have been sitting already on a shield, you might not. But let's say you've just broke a shield, you've done an attack. The resources you've got, you're pretty much going to lose on defence because you're going to get beaten again because you're only doing the one attack and going offline. Make sure that when you're going to play, play Plunder Pirates, you've actually got time to play Plunder Pirates. Stay online. Do not go offline. If you're eating dinner, just sit there, keep tapping your screen every so often. Make sure you uh, adjust your screen setting so it stays on for as long as possible. You don't want to be tapping it every three seconds. So that's a big one. Stay online. Attack a lower pirate hall with weaker defences. Pretty self-explanatory. They do. I mean, I can attack pirate hall 10s. So it's got weak walls and weak defences. They're, they're about, plenty about for every pirate hall level. And they've still got a decent amount of loot. You can go and farm them. Don't be afraid of being the big bully, because it, we've all been bullied along the game. Oh yes, even me. <laughs> Higher pirate hall with low level defences and walls. This goes back to what I was saying a minute ago about the, the little account I was playing last night on the live stream. I am a pirate hall 4, and because I, I can't remember was it in a rumble, whatever. Anyway, rarely you got to see this, but... I attacked a pirate hall 7, so three pirate halls IR, and I absolutely loot banded his base. Almost free starred it. Oh, spoiler alert there. <laughs> Almost free starred it. <laughs> Almost. It was that bad of a base, but he was brimming with loot. There is nothing wrong with attacking higher. When I mean higher, I don't mean a fully maxed out base that's one pirate hall above you. That's just stupid. Go for them weak bases. And then the other one, which I haven't done in ages, but it works for most part all levels. And again, B at sub 100 PR, expose Pirate Hall for a free shield. Way back in the day, I, I've, I think I've still got it. My Pirate Hall 4, 5 and 6 base designs, they go expose Pirate Halls. Why? Because you want to be down there, you want to be farming, you want to get all that loot. When you go offline, you want people that's going to be doing streaking. See, they're number six. Streak to get chess. They're going to be down here in the easy spot. You have your nice, juicy, exposed pirate all. Your storage is well protected. They go, we just take the pirate all and we'll leave the storages alone because we're, we're streaking. We want to get chess. We haven't got time to waste another two minutes trying to get the, the storages. Let's just get the pirate all and get the hell out of here. And that's what people do. So make sure... If you're struggling, having a hard time, jump down really low. Get that pirate all out and make sure that your storages are well protected. There's plenty of good base designs out there and I've pretty much got most of them covered. I will try and do some more, but they're sufficient so far. And I hope that really explains the farming tips. A lot of it is just trying these out and they will... I've used all these methods. Use them all. You've seen my base smoking like a good one because I haven't rearmed my traps. You've seen me attack uh, higher pirate all levels in the past with uh, low defences and walls. And I've done the same with um, the pirate walls below, one or two below. I've done that as well. Stay online, you see me when I'm streaming, especially. I'm just, I stay online. <laughs> I dump my resources. So, stay broke. I've put that in the same one as the rearm. Stay broke, the FT method. I hope this has been useful. Please do try it and get back to me whether it's helped you out. Thanks for watching all. Have a pleasant day and evening.
Bye for now.